guys how are you today so um today i'm bringing you this new cool effect sorrel uh episode number five i don't know how to name it it is so damn weird yeah it's really complex effects one of my best i think uh there's really a lot of details and it's quite interesting to make pre-sync your clip your clip i mean twixter time amount on the short you need to slow down the short at a maximum i put it on 20 and frame blend it so it goes really slow from that part so it doesn't really move at all Just cut it off and um, right click on the clip and go on pre-composition click on it and it's gonna bring you to a new con. And I just made some little <laughs> memos uh, to, because it's a really complex effect to make. Then what you need to do is um, you need to mask the sniper out. Go on this tool right here. Uh, you double click on the clip and you go on this tool and you just start masking like that. And you do that um, up to whatever point you really want. So um, what you do is just mask the sniper all the way through really long process to do all right there we go so this is uh, the final product duplicate your clip there we go control d uh, you delete roto brush on the top layer there we go so it's going to give you a normal thing uh, you put this layer the a layer without roto brush uh, on the bottom so uh, behind the roto brush layer oh my god on the first clip without any roto brush or whatever you put some camera blur uh, I put it on 5 and make sure to tick this. Uh, then what you do, add some BCC film glow. Alright, so what you do is you go from the beginning, there we go, here. And you need to put the layer down here. So it goes onto, uh, no, behind behind the clip. So it goes into the background of the clip. Um, so yeah, put this layer, the layer with the rotor brush, put it all the way up so it doesn't get affected with any effect and that's the good thing to do you, you keyframe uh, the first uh, glow intensity to zero and then up to the end at 35 and there we go it gives you something pretty cool uh, really simple for now <laughs> um, and actually I would consider maybe put a bit more of radius maybe 130 so it looks a bit more I don't know, a bit more clean, I guess. So the second effect is really weird. Uh, it's called Glowfy, Glowfy, yeah, Glowfy. It brings you this uh, really weird stuff. And what you do, uh, the glow brightness, you need to bring it um, a bit down. Uh, well, really down. So you put it down to 04, 0 0.4. There we go. So it's gonna get rid of all the glow, uh, nearly all the glow. Uh, the glow size, you're gonna put it at um, 20, yeah, 20 and the radius at 100 yeah perfect <laughs> sorry guys i'm just taking a bit of notes i'm looking at my notes because it's pretty complicated to remember every single bit and what you do well i've done it uh you put the first color and the second color to blue uh, that's what i've done but you know you can change the color if you want and i would advise you to do that because you know you don't want to copy exactly my effect so the next effect is uh really simple put a uh, radial blur on everything except the sniper so the sniper um you know uh gets out of the frame the frame so it's really beast i mean the background you can't really see the background and whatever i'm just going to do it you know uh, you put the the amounts on 19 so it's going to give you really something weird and you put the type on fading zoom just simply mask the sniper out so it's going to get on the sniper and what you do is you go on mask and you press on inverts right there inverts there we go and what you do then is you press F on the keyboard it's going to give you the, the expansion mask and you put like 50 I guess then it should look good yes it does the next layer is black and white first of all put the opacity uh, from the beginning of the clip to zero and at the end you put it up to 100 so it's going to give you a fading black and white with textured black and white that's going to texture the particles of the glow fire so it's going to be really nice nice uh, what you do is you go on red you put them down to minus 200 um yellow minus 200 green 300 uh, Sion, I don't know how that's called in English, but minus 200, 300, and minus 200. It's really nice. I really love this effect. It's one of my best, uh, and I really like it. <laughs> so I think we're done. All right. So it looks good so far uh, from the preview round, uh, but it's really an effect that I created like that. I mean, from <laughs> I don't know how. I just messed around. You know, I was on the live stream too. I just messed around and found it. I mean, it's a good combination between loads of effects looks perfect great 
Uh, guys, um, make sure to leave a like because this Saturday I've got an amazing video for you guys. Uh, really original, no one has done it before. Uh, it's going to be with a player that uh, was on my channel a long time ago. I think it's going to be great, so make sure to leave a, a like if you're hyped for that. So, yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, check out Colt96 if you haven't yet. And um, yeah, see you soon.